So today we're gonna be doing a kind of similar build to the one we did on Monday but also kind of not because our main demo choice is gonna be the wedding invitation on Moe's. Uh, if you don't know then the wedding invitation has a secret debuffing mechanic where if you crit an enemy multiple times then you're gonna debuff them and get increased incendiary damage and cryo damage on them like with any incendiary or cryo damage if you do it with the ricochet then you're gonna debuff them with cryo if you hit them normally with fire crit then you're gonna debuff them with incendiary uh, damage so that's really good I'm also gonna be abusing Urad and the cryo ricochet on this build so let's do it <coughs> for the gear we have a wedding invitation with Urad because okay, so we're gonna be u doing Urad on this build for explosions as well. Free radical with Urad. Uh, that's gonna be our main second win weapon. And also we have two plague bears, fire. Oh, pff, wow, corrosive and cryo. That those are also gonna be for our second wins. The believe it or not, but if you have five stacks of Superior firepower, then you gain plus 100% cryo damage, which means, um, basically the cryo damage bonus on armor is gonna be stronger than the corrosive damage bonus on armor. Like that's just how good superior firepower is. Uh, Infernal Wish with double M that we're gonna be doing that. For our uh, one invitation with the on access going on apply terror to us every three seconds. We're gonna, go, we're gonna be doing terror on this build. A minesweeper with plus five fire on the skagden. With uh, flash damage radius, flash damage, and take up slot and crit damage. Uh, minesweepers on this build are gonna be insane. And also, be prepared to go down many times again. <laughs> this is most guys, you're gonna go down at least once. And then we have an Adam Maw Victory Rush with Radiation Damage, Magnetize and Area of Effect Damage. That's going to be our main artifact for mobbing. We also have a Jacob's Companion here which isn't going to be useful for us because you know, we want to abuse the explosions as well. So we can just kind of fake it off. Also I just noticed the <laughs> huge radiation icons near the stats, like what is that about? And then for our bossing artifact is going to be a toboggan with movement speed. Area of effect damage and mag size, because you know there are, aren't really going to be mobs around the boss, so the bug is just going to be stronger for like one shots. And then the cut push launch pad if we need ammo with double movement speed and area of effect damage. And then our radiation recurring hex with the wild terrified to get increased damage and fire rate. Uh, ACs on most are kind of or bonus elements in general are kind of. Bones elements from annoyance after action skill end uh, aren't really useful because most already has uh, bones elements from herself, which are like way stronger than the uh, from f the ones from the annoyed. So we're gonna be doing terror on that. And then for our skill tree for purple tree, <laughs> we're doing five points into biofuel for increased uh, or <laughs> wow, I'm lost. For health we then on ourselves whenever we ignite an enemy and also for Iron Cub but we're gonna all be offing Iron Cub for terror as well again. 30 points into big surplus for bonus incendiary damage whenever our cub is cooling down. 5 points into really big guns for increased Iron Cub damage. It says Iron Bear but whenever something says Iron Bear damage then it also applies to Cub. One point into double time because nothing here is gonna benefit us, like Hermes Havoc is kinda shit for us on this build. I mean it's useful if you're doing like one element but that's kinda niche. <coughs> and um, Explosive Fury doesn't work at all, it, it's bugged. So we have to spec one point do into double time for like this short duration of cup being active for a little bit of movement speed. I fired up for bonus fire rate. Uh, for stacking bonus fire rate whenever we apply a dot on an enemy. One point into never gonna gi give you up. So <laughs> Actually kind of wasted this point because I could have just taken this point and spec it into Nitro Tiny Dimensions. Wow, I'm smart. Hold on. I need to 
changes because we don't need never gonna give you up there we go i refined my build a little bit so we basically just took one point from never gonna give you up and uh, put it into nitro trinidium edges so we have that maxed out for bonus cooldown and then superior firepower for double crow damage and for some increased uh, dot damage because we are supposed to be kind of good for dots to, in my opinion uh, and we're gonna be doing cob with uh, baby nukes uh, did we do blue tree? <laughs> no, we didn't. We did uh, purple only. So for blue tree, we're doing five points into final strike then, so that we can have a uh, bonus fire damage on our splash damage hits. One point into grizzled, so that we can have one second from our cooldown cut off after we get a kill. But that's diminishing our turns, and I had to spec this one point into grizzled because originally this point was gonna go into all the bear. But since Cobb is going to be off him himself, then Odebar is going to be useless, so we're expecting this one point into Grizzled. And uh, three points into Myth of Destruction to gain bonus, to get bonus ammo back, straight into our mag, and for grenades back. Five points into Torcrass Promotion for increased splash damage, and for double splash radius every, for every 0.2 seconds after we deal a hit of splash damage. That's how, that's how it works, but it's not a chance for double splash radius, it's... Double splash radius for every 0.2 seconds after every splash damage hit. Uh, <laughs> many of you didn't know that. 5 points into stainless steel bear for buffing our fire and strike then again and for big surplus because the maximum fuel and the armor aren't really going to be helpful but the iron bear damage is going to be helpful for Cobb to off himself even faster. Uh, 3 points into pull the holy pin so that our grenades have a chance to crit and spawn more minesweepers. Two points into Vampire. That's mainly to spec down the skill tree because Vampire doesn't work with the hex. Only the grenade explosions, but like the grenade explosions don't happen often because you know the hex goes on for a long time and by the time the hexes are done beaming the enemies then they're gonna be dead and then the hexes are gonna explode. I mean Vampire also works with the minesweeper nade so that's I guess kind of useful for that. But even then, uh, we're gonna go, we're pretty much gonna go down the instant we somebody depletes our shields, cause like we only have forty percent of our uh, total max HP to the last, so that we can throw hexes and fight for life, and then short fuse uh, for huge damage uh, occasionally, cause you know it's just a really good skill. One of the okay, actually uh, no, let's not say the B word. The B word in the BO franchise is a band. I guess one of the strongest capstones in the game. And for our Iron Cap weapon, we're gonna be doing the grenade launcher with the 5 round burst. And then for Orange Tree, we're doing 5 points into Armored Infantry to, to spec down to Thin Red Line because selfless, selfless Vengeance sucks and Security Bear isn't gonna do good for us because it gives Iron Cup damage reduction and we don't want Cobb to have damage reduction we want him to off himself uh, for terror and for big surplus and then 3 points into a thin red line so that we can reserve more than 50% of our max HP and convert it into shields so that we can so that we can be below phew, so that we can be below 50% HP for the UR bones at all times so with that we only have 40% of our total max HP. And then for green tree we're doing 5 points into cloud of lead. Uh, for every 4 shots uh, don't consume ammo and they have bonus incendiary damage. Docker bird for increased iron cup damage so that, so that we can, he can off himself faster again. 3 points into stoke the embers for increased incendiary damage on both Moe's and iron bear. Redistribution so that we can have some ammo region even though we don't need it. Because Wedding Invitation gives one bullet back on crits. So if we're good at hitting crits, which I'm not, uh, you can get ammo back very easily even without redistribution. And then 5 points into a Scorching RPMs for bonus fire rate, crit damage, and iron bear and cup damage. And to buff our fire and the sky then and big surplus. Okay, let's go. Uh, <clears throat> I've gone down so many times during my testings of this build. 
Because the winning invitations splash damage on crits can down you, believe it or not, in logic. Because obviously. And this is most, so like this. I don't know the exact value of the basic. Um, of the base splash radius on the winning invitation crits, but I'm pretty sure it's like. 150 maybe, I wanna say. So with uh, AoE on your artifact. Splash damage radius on the class mod, Torkas promotion, maybe it can even go to like 800 splash radius, it can even go to like basically a nukem shot. So hold on, let me, okay so Yush first shot and already down myself, as you can see, Yush, 59 million, Yush, 30, so if you keep hitting Chris then you're gonna get a bonus to your fire damage. I think it only works on one mob. And what's cool about this is that you can crit, like... If you have the Infernal Wish, I bet it's because of the Infernal Wish, but if you crit, then you can cause multiple explosions at once. Maybe it's because you have bonus projectile. Hmm, I don't know, maybe. That was sarcastic, by the way. That was obvious. So let's continue Yushin. Okay, the guy's stuck in the wall again, because obviously. As I can see, as you can see, there were multiple explosions from that one shot in like a fraction of a second. <laughs> and again. Yeah, maybe just just use the winning invitation like an actual sniper. Let's just, let's just snipe with this. Instead of just being point blank in enemies' faces. Fucking death spheres. Okay, just die. That was a crit? How? I literally shot this dog's side. Yush. Yush. This is kind of like also like an explosion heavy build. Oh, this is great. Oh, I love this. You know, because the reason why I made this build is because. Uh. <laughs> There was so much talk with them about the wedding invitations debuffing in case it's a server. So I just kind of decided to like... Take the wedding invitation, put it on the most build, spec it to superior firepower, and just have huge damage on our ricochets. Oh, fire heavy, that's... He almost got one shot. Yeah, <laughs> holy cryo explosion. Okay, so for Kraken, I'm gonna try to... Hollow point him. Oh, oh wow, that was okay. This is the first try. Oh no 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 don't die. I wanna try this on Amara as well. But I wanna be if I wanna do this on Amara, I'd like, then I need to be like even more creative than this. Like I wanna figure out the most creative shite I can think of. Maybe I need to ask Stone Swan for that. As you can see, those crowd explosions are insane. And as as you saw there, I hit the Valkyrie's crit and exploded many times in in a second. Okay, this is gonna be run, 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 run. No. Okay, yeah, I need to stand back. No, I'm done at all. Oh, this is the end of me. Run, crit, crit, crit. You see those explosions? At least I don't need to worry about self damage in 5 feet life! Hex. Let's let the Hex take care of this. Oh my god. This is so much fun. Fire and armor. Oh, how do I know? Wow. Woo! Fire head. Oh, okay. Now Rota, who has the hardest crit spot. To hit. Hold on, spawn the mini guys. I'm getting a second with the wedding invitation, I don't care. I need to reload manually because I. Because <laughs> I fucked up my uh, swap reloading. Where? Two, three, four, five, six shots on a. Man. 
Can you like not be annoying Rota please? Because you're such a fucking annoying bitch. Oh, there we go. Huge crits. Rota is the biggest asshole of them all. Low. One hex. Yush! I should have done toboggan. Fuck me. <laughs> I keep forgetting. Oh, holy one shot. Oh, oh yo, yo. <coughs> Fuck. Oh my god. Uh, wow. I one shot two Valkyries at once. Huge progress. <laughs> no. Okay, now my aim is, uh, not aiming anymore. <laughs> so that shit? I'm gonna be checking after this at night. What if I. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say if I can detonate the barrels from up top with the uh, cod. The baby nukes. But I guess we won't find out this episode. Also, as I'm recording this, it's July 30th, which means. In. Uh, 10 days, the. Bo the BL movie is. Uh, gonna be released. Personally, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I don't give a shit about the movie. I just want BO4 to come out. I'll maybe go watch the movie. We'll see. But personally, I don't give a shit. Okay, so this is the part where I need to be like really careful. Wait, hold on, can I? Miss, damn it. Oh no, oh no. Oh no. Death Spheres. My mortal enemy. Oh, let's start yushing. Let's like you. Let's let's start yushing so hard. Fuck. No. The hexes are just. I can abuse this heavy for ricochet crits. Oh, I or just in general ricochets. Or not. Okay, actually, let's 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 that's, that's let's not do that. Let's just keep throwing hexes. I don't have a mesmer on the save. I should have saved it with a mesmer. I guess I can just kind of spam the wedding invitation in the area, hope for hits. <laughs> you can also kind of consider this build as like a hex wedding invitation hybrid, if you want. Crit, 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 can I- oh. <laughs> Guys, this is BO3. When the invitation is so satisfying. And the bridge is done. <laughs> no, plague bear time. Hold on, let's stack up super firepower. If I can. There we go. Yush. Holy explosion. Yush. And then guess what? Yush. Oh, and it's done. Hold on. Wait for the explosions to go off. And then we can proceed. <clears throat> Other good passes you can do on your artifact are cryo damage, sniper damage, cooldown rate, uh, movement speed. Uh, let's like do a grenade. Oh, hold on, toboggan, toboggan, toboggan. Before I forget. Because I will forget eventually. Yush. One Yush did it. And now, Warten has no crit spot. Hold on, can I. Wait, before he goes off. Oh, go, wow. He wasn't low enough? Or he was just like barely not low enough? Wow. Excellent. Get rid of. Get rid. I wonder if we can insta kill Wotan with one running invitation shot after he splits. Like, I couldn't do it because I couldn't bust his shield for the shield. for the brain shield to go away. Okay. 
Hold on. Can I? Maybe? No, not even. This is great. Fantastic. Fantastic job, guys. Do you have anything to bargain? I might. Okay, no, I don't. Hold on, let's start using. Let's start using around. Once again. This is my period of using around. Use. Okay, my super. Cool. Now for the better half, just for your article. Like to blend the final blow with the wedding invitation. If I can. Okay, let's, let, let's not swap it over. I don't need to swap it over shot. Man, not having splash on most kind of sucks. Holy shit! One more. Fuck. Oh, I think this is gonna do it. There we go. Woo! Thor. Or not? Okay. <laughs> he doesn't want to show me his quit spot. Let's just get rid of everybody. Takes boom, max damage? That seems kinda high. Okay, not max damage, it's a, it's a 3 mag. Uh, <laughs> Manic PC Dream Gun, the... What? The Blank, the Reflux, Moonfire, Yushu Shushu Shushu shush, shush, shush. Moonfire, Free Article, Yushu Shushu 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 Redline, Flipper, Double Sport Skin, and keep the worth. Cool. So, see you tomorrow with another video. Uh, the last one, which I need to pre record for vacations, because I'm going on vacation on, on August 3rd. And I'm going to. After I go, after I'll be back from vacation, I'll, I'll tell you in which city I was. So, see you tomorrow with another video. Bye-bye.